Hey guys, it's Dr. Lion Simi here. For this tutorial, by the way, this is the the last tutorial for for the how to convert for a conversion to base base number series. This one we're gonna be converting to how to convert to any base number. Now we know that we've been converting from binary to octal to decimal and to hexadecimal. But what about we convert to other bases, such as base three, four, five, six. 7, 9, 11, etc. But the highest base number, well as far as I know, is base 36. For which that is a hexatridecimal or hexatrigesimal if you want to call it that way. But to make these easier, let's we'll call it by their base number. But here are all the digits for base 36. They are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Y, and Z. Now if you can tell, that's a lot of digits. So here's one thing that you should you should know. We know that A is our first letter, then B is the second letter, and C, 3, 4. But if you add 9 to the letters, like 1 plus 9 is 10, then that's how you get your real number. The numbers you should get is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, etc. So here's the thing. So here's how it works. So when you try to go from certain digits, for example, you want to go to base 3, you basically go to the digit b before that digit, which is, which is 2. So your digits for base 3 would be 0, 1, and 2. So that's how you, so those are your digits for base 3. What about base number? Oh, base 22, base 22, where then you go before that, which is L. Yeah, L. You get L is 21. So those are your, all your digits for base 22, it's L. And M is 23, but that's not your, your digit for base 22. So let's start with something small. So what about we convert from base 12 to decimal so we'll put 1b now from converting to any base number to a decimal even binary works for that one too use the expand strategy and we use their base number as the actual base number we're using so just we're using base 12 use 12 and everything else is pretty much the same I went over this in a different tutorial. Like, just to refresh your memory, uh, your first digit always starts at 0, then after that your second digit is 1, to power 1, then etc. As, as you have more digits. And that's how you convert from any base number to a decimal. Now what about we, we do vice versa? So what about, what about we convert from decimal to base 21? So we'll put 180. So for this works for any base number. You basically, if you want to convert from decimal to any base number, you divide. So to avoid confusion, whenever you're trying to convert to decimal, use the expand strategy. You're converting from decimal to the other bases, you use the division. You divide by their base number. So since we're, since we're converting to base 21, you divide by 21. And I went over this in a different in a different video about about the um, about the division. Okay, and that your remainder goes first, then your product last. If you could divide this again, you could divide it. Like if it's higher than 21 or exactly 21, you could divide it again. If it's below the base number, then there's nothing else you could really do for the product. Like, 
Like you put your remainder first, then your product last. And we know that C is 12, then 8. So your last, the remainder always goes to the last digit, then you keep adding the remainders after that. And that's how you convert to your to other base numbers. Okay, now what about we convert from one base to another? So what about we convert from base 25 to base 4? Now, just like now, how do we do this? We convert to the decimal number first, then to the actual base number you're going for. So, for instance, you want to go for twenty-five base twenty-five to base four. You first convert base twenty-five to a decimal. Remember that anything to the power of zero is one. Okay, then after that you divide two of the base number. See, and since we have more than, since we can keep dividing, you always put your remainder there. And then you divide again by the product you have. And six can be divided too, so we keep going. And there you go. Then you put your remainder first, then your product last. And that's how you convert from from one base to another. Anyways, so that's all for for this series about how to, from conversion of base numbers. I also made the playlist so in case you wanted to see the other episodes, in, in, in case you missed them or something. So I so that's the that's all for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy enjoy this video and may God bless you all.